In the previous video, we introduced what is scalar quantities and what is vector quantities. And now in this video, we're going to represent the vector. How do we represent the vector? Let's say here is a point A and here is point B. And uh, if this A is my starting point, initial point, and B is my terminating point, uh, then I will give a line from point A to B and I will give the direction from where I move, right? I move from A to B, let's say, let's say this is 5 meter and I move from A to B, that is the direction I'm giving here. So this is the graphical representation of vector and symbolically while representing this, uh, this, this vector quantity, this, this displacement of 5 meter from A to B, uh, we write from A to B and giving the arrow over the head, right? We must have to give the arrow over the head. It means I move from A to B, right? And uh, similarly, if you are moving from B to A, let's say you're moving from B to A, then again, you have to give the direction. Let me do it in another place, all right? Let's say, let's say this, is, this is point B and this is point A, all right? So you're moving from B to A, so I have to give direction in opposite way, all right? So this is from B to A, like this. So uh, just, just, you know, you have to write from where to where you moved and just give the directions. So uh, this is for the displacement, but maybe if you're applying force, so that time uh, if, you're, if you're writing force, then you just write uh, like force and just give an arrowhead. So force and you're applying the direction, you know, it means you're giving the direction. This is just representation, you know, the, just a symbolical representation. So if I'm writing vector A, all right, and if I'm giving here arrow, then I will understand this is, this is vector A, all right. If I'm simply writing A, then it just represent a, a scalar quantity, it just represent A maybe anything, you know. And if I'm giving direction also here, then it represents a vector, all right. So uh, this is the representation of the vector and uh, in printing style, if you see, uh, in the many books, you might be seeing uh, a bold face is given, you know, uh, a bold, let's say A. If I'm writing very bold and capital letter, that sometimes represents vector A, all right? Uh, in, the, in the books, generally you see by the bold, right? You know, B and just bold it, bold it. This is also a way to write the vector. But uh, nowadays we follow uh, this, uh, this arrow method, right? That's more better. And now here, uh, magnitude, you know, like, like suppose this is five meter, I said. So five meter is your magnitude and from A to B, that is the direction. But to write the magnitude of this, you know, the AB is the vector and give one line here and give one line here the modulus value of ab vector is called the magnitude of that vector and that is five meter all right so the what is the magnitude what is the size what is the value all right uh, or, or maybe the length that is actually the magnitude and magnitude is represented like this so here the magnitude of the force if you want right then give the two line all right i mean just give the modulus value sometimes we say absolute value also and let's say this is two newton so, so this is the sim, uh, this is the representation of the magnitude of a vector. Similarly, suppose this is vector v, uh, vector v representing a velocity. Suppose, all right, this is representing suppose velocity. This is representing velocity. Then, if I'm writing here like this, then this represents the magnitude of the velocity. Magnitude of velocity, all right? Magnitude of velocity. So it may be it may be let's say maybe uh, two kilometer per hour all right so this is the magnitude you know how, what is the value what is the size actually that's 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 magnitude so so while representing velocity let's say you move from place a to place b all right all right this is the particular direction you're giving and you say here uh, v all right like this and this v is here you know uh, let's say two kilometer per hour all right and this is the magnitude of the magnitude of this two kilometer per hour is the magnitude and giving and going from uh, a to b so i give the direction i give the magnitude that's why this is the vector quantity so you just understand the representation of the vector you need to give the uh, you need to give generally uh, the arrow here let's say this is b and then i need to give the arrow that represents the vector b or simply you'll write b then that just represents the the quantity you know just the magnitude you can say sometimes let's say b equals to four kilometer so it just represents the distance, maybe, maybe curvy, maybe, maybe straight line, maybe any, 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 how the distance it's just representing, just a distance, all right? But uh, if writing here vector V is uh, four kilometer to north, then it's, it's representing something like this. 
this is let's say point initial point let's say origin all right this is the initial point that's it and let's say this is point p so for, from o to p you know this is um, let me make a little pretty straight so this is the displacement i made you know that is four kilometer and towards the north everybody know this is uh, north this is south you know this is east and west so this is how we represent the vectors by by giving the arrow over the over the symbol all right